What's up, beast people? Tito's here, and welcome to the second episode of the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Last episode, we started off the adventure, and uh, we were attacked by some wild, crazy Behem. I think that's how I pronounce the name. I bad at Nick like pronouncing names I don't know why but there's just some weird names I mean to be honest that Pokemon's name is pretty weird but that aside we were attacked by those things and uh, we saw a Nuzleaf on uh, our way of running away from those Pokemons and he helped us out through some dungeons and went through the whole tutorial thing because it was kind of what it felt like and then Nuzleaf uh, took us to his village which is Serene Village and now we're there and uh, yeah now we're gonna find out what the hell is going on and what's gonna happen so we're just gonna click continue and get this started now if you are hyped for this series and you have been enjoying please fire punch like button down below so you guys let me know that's the biggest reason why I want you guys to l live a like is if to know if you guys are actually liking this and uh, if you guys reach the like goal like it says above the gameplay another video will be up I don't know why I said v -v video what the hell was that <laughs> but uh, the more like goals you guys reach, uh, the more videos will be up because that's how I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna be going crazy playing this because I just wanna play it, like it's a new game, it's something new, I wanna play it, so I'm just gonna go crazy and uh, yeah, you guys make sure to do that, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you've been enjoying and everything too, so yeah, all that good stuff, so let's just continue and see this, so Nuzleaf, I reckon we're here, this is where my house this here's my house, not this is where's my house, what the hell? This way, this is a nice house, wow. Here you are. You can bunk down in this room for now. It may not be much, but take it as you will. And well, as for the rest of it, what do you reckon you're gonna do? I can't help wondering why them behem were coming after you like that. But all the wondering in the world won't give me nothing but a headache. We could get us some answers if if and when your memory ever comes back. But until then, you can't just stay here. Sounds good? Alright, sounds good. I wouldn't tell the other folks in the village about them behem, though. Might scare them off. And let's see. That's right. You're about school age from the looks of you, so I reckon you should, I should get you enrolled at the village school. People wonder even more about you if you aren't going to school at your age. So let's just agree that you'll go to school for the time being, alright? I reckon I'll go and get that all took care of right away. So don't you stick one toe outside this house till I get back, you hear? That's a tough request, dude, but okay, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Cause, you know. <laughs> you hear? You're not to go outside, not even by mistake or nothing. Mm. That's tough, dude. I want to go outside. Okay. <gasps> what was that noise? Holy... Yo, that's creepy. Crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh my god. There's something outside. Could it be those behem? But I thought I'd lost them once and for all, but... That's scary. What the hell is going on? Yo, that was really creepy, like the shadow out of nowhere, what the hell, yo, this is so nice, this looks so nice. I can't do anything, I can't drink water, I can't do anything, can I look at this window? I mean, what am I supposed to do other than just go outside? I mean, he told me to not go outside, but is something gonna happen if I just stay here? I don't think so. So I should just go outside. Okay. I don't see anyone out here, but I can't let my guard down. If I'm not careful, then... There's the Pikachu. So, the, the, it was the freaking Pikachu series. Uh, what the... Why do you have that face? I knew it! I knew my ears weren't playing tricks on me! I did not saw you go inside with Mr. Nuzlis just now! Where are you from? What's your name? Oh god, this is the typical, like, hyperactive character type of thing. Uh, well, my name... I'm Pikachu! I live right nearby with my old pops! That rise was hair. That house right there, wow, I couldn't even read that. <laughs> so where are you from? You're not seriously Mr. Nizzle's kid or anything, are you? 
Like that could ever happen! <laughs> Alright, but this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around the place, come on! What did you say her name was? Or wait, did I ask you that already? I didn't ask you, did I? Oh my goodness, what is this Pikachu? I see, so you're a Tito's, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that, I went and asked and never even gave you a chance to answer. Um, am I annoying? You're totally thinking about how annoying I am right now, yeah? Well, quit it, jeez. <laughs> give me a break, you big mill tank. Ha! <laughs> see what I did there? A little joke with the mill tank? Oh my god. This is crazy. Which leads us to... Ta-da! Here she is, Serene Village, and her heart is this plaza here. Okay, looks good, looks amazing, yeah. It may not look like much, but we've got most of the basic facilities here. I don't know what voice to give him, I'm, I've been just reading him with my normal voice actually, I just noticed that now, and I'm just like, okay, I should give him a voice, but I don't know what to give him as a voice. <laughs> Over there you got your deposit box. You can deposit your items and money in there and take them out again later. And there's Kecklin's shop, you can buy all sorts of items there. It's probably too much to take it, take it, all, to take it all that... Oh my god, I can't read! What is wrong with me? It's probably too much to take in all at once. So, I'll tell you about each facility in turn. Let's see, to start with, we've got... There you are, Pikachu! Oh, it's Lombre. Okay, what voice should I give a Lombre? Eee, Lombre! So that is where you've been. You're the one who tramped all through my lotus pound, aren't you? It, it, it wasn't like it wasn't like that. I was just trying to have a little adventure. Pikachu, stop right there. Go, Hippopotas! You! You are the one that has went into my cave, aren't you? And that's more, you took the treasure and I had inside, didn't you? Uh, no, I was just exploring a dungeon and I happened to, uh... Well, you know how it is, you gotta have a reward after clearing a dungeon, right? Stop right- Oh my god... Pikachu's in trouble. Oh wow, he's... He's a mess. Wow, what the hell? P pops Uh, what voice did Lombre have? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad with the voices, I can't. I can't keep track of, like, the voices that I do. I just can't, it's too many voices. Uh... Oh, old man Caracosta! This is where we've been loitering, child. What about your chores back home, huh? Playing hooky again to wander around, huh? No, Pops, I have a real reason this time. And I know you've been snacking on the orange berries from my field again. I, I have not. You have. I have not. I want the truth from you, child. Yeah, I did eat them. They were delicious. I'm done. D d I'm done. What is wrong with this Pikachu? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I just noticed this tail. It's actually a female Pikachu. That's a girl. That's not a male Pikachu. It's a girl. But what the hell is wrong? <laughs> oh my goodness. Villagers. Hey, I see Pikachu over there. Everybody, Pikachu's been sighted. Oh my lord. Don't you dare run, we'll catch you! We're coming for you! Oh my god. What a mess. What in the world did I just witness? <laughs> okay, I ended up left behind, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well have a look around. Oh god, Nuzleaf told us to not leave the house. Pro tip. When you're in a town or village, you can save your game by going into the X menu. Inside of dungeon, you can use an item known as Progress Device to save your game. Okay. Oh, we have a little map! Yo, that's- there's a lot of things. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I assume Nuzleaf's house is dead over there. Uh, I can't really point it. Wow, that's crazy, but yeah. 
And, uh, okay, so there's the shop, there's everything. Wait, do we even have items on us? I should, I w would assume we have. Yeah, there's, these are the items we got on the freaking. Hang it in the bag, Revisor. Pokemon went faint, but it doesn't restore your PP or belly. Okay! So basically, the difference from the normal Reviver Seed is that it doesn't recover PP. Okay. That's fair. Yo, we have a bunch of items that are not that bad, actually. Okay. I would say for now, since we're on the start of the game, I'm gonna start- wait, what? Hmm? What's going on over there? What? Gumi did? Yeah, well, you insisted on going. No more excuses, Shelmet. Tell me the truth. You and Pajam pushed him into this, didn't you? Th th that's not fair, darling. He's the one who said you wanted to go. How can you stand there and blame us? Quite easily. You're the ones who are always teasing poor Gumi after all. Someday you're going to go too far and it'll be too late for sorries then. I, I know that. No need to first show much. You're going to show me the way there, right now. Wow, something happened with, like, those people. Those two kids, they must live here in this village too, huh? I wonder what's going on, they seem pretty tense about something. That's true. Okay, I wanted to box the items over here because... That's what I usually do in every single... What I used to do in every single Mr. Dungeon when I would play is that... I just box all the items. And wait, can I multi-select? Multi okay, I can. So I just gotta do this. Just gonna deposit everything because for now these items are not gonna be needed. They'll be needed in the future. So I wanna deposit as many things as I can. Even th wait, they don't have money, so we can Yeah, we can box money. So we're good for now. We don't need any of that. We can't buy anything, so I'm not gonna talk with Kecleon. So that'd be stupid and useless. Okay. Oh, this looks nice. Okay. And where else can I really go? Okay, how Lucho, what the hell do you do? Yo, child! You are a child, aren't you? It was obvious to me at a glance. My hobby is teaching useful moves to to good little children. He <laughs> craw! Sadly, I haven't been hearing the cheers from my little hall Lucho maniacs out there. Which is why I can't open my shop just now, sorry. I'll be sure to open up shop. Oh, to open up shop once I feel the love from my little hall Lucho maniacs. You'll just have to be bitching the till then. He craw! He craw! Okay. Uh, he's really pumped, I guess. Okay, I guess I, I, I guess I could leave it alone, but I can't help but wonder about those two kids I saw. They seem kind of desperate. Okay, Charmander, you're putting in too much, actually. I would say to go back home. That's what I would do. But, um... I guess that's how the story goes, so I'm just gonna have to follow them. What? He still hasn't come back out? Yeah, that's right. It's been a pretty long time, too. I knew it was a total wimp. No surprise there. You should have judged him made of what a wimp he is and kept his mouth shut. But he had to go and talk big, like he could handle this kind of place. He was boasting, saying, I'll show you. That's what got him into this mess. He's probably mundled up somewhere in the forest, but to find his knifing back tears. <laughs> wow, they're laughing at that. Come on, that is not even... You are so mean, Pantam! Gumi isn't even the same age as us yet! Yeah, but he's the one who talks big, so he got- wait, no. Yeah, but he's the one who talks big, he got what was coming to him. We figure it's our job to teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happens to him in there, what are you going to do then, huh? I'm going after him. No way, you can't go in there, darling! What if something happened to you? We can't let that happen to our idol. We're not letting you step foot in such a dangerous place. Are you kidding me? Then fine, you go in after him. You want us to go? Into the forebodying forest? No way, why would you do that? I mean, it's not that we're scared or anything like that. I don't want you getting the wrong idea or whatever, you understand, right? Hmm? Who's this? I haven't seen you around before. He has his mouth like this, so I tried to make a voice that would be fit for that. Where do you come from? You're not from the village. What's the matter? Skitty got your tongue? Well, no one's gonna understand if you don't ever speak up. 
Well, what should I do? I did overhear what they were saying. I guess I could offer to go look for that Gumi kid. Will you go look for Gumi? Let's do it. Yeah, I can shake this feeling. I'll do it. What? You'll go there for us? Oh, you sure about this? You do know that this place is like super scary, right? Well, if you really want to go and all, I guess we're not gonna stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get into any trouble in there. Are you sure you're up to this? Yup, I'm up for this. Where was Gumi trying to go anyway? You shouldn't have gone that far in. There's a big old piece of paper in the forest that's not far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I came exploring the forest before, see, we brought it to use like a trap, a tarp. So we had something to sit on. When he got jumped by a whole bunch of scared Pokemon, man, that was awful. We should have seen Pancham's face. Remember, it still cracks me up. Those dudes are just a bunch of... Oh my god, this is... This is... They're too stupid and childish. This is not... Back to the point, you guys left that paper there. Is that it? And you told Gomi to find it. Yeah. We told him to find the paper and write his name on it and bring it back. If we could do that, we we said we'd admit that we had some real guts. I'm so sorry about this. I think you've got the picture now. Will it really help? Yep, I'ma do it. Be careful in th there. We can do this. This is easy. I mean, we're broken as hell. We've had Dragon Rage and everything. Okay, yes, we gotta pick as many items as we can. And, uh, okay. Blast Seed will spit fire forth using huge damage. Okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna need that for now, so we good. But uh, that's a good item. Okay, Slumber Wand and Petrify Orb. Okay, there's a lot of items over here already. See, this is why I wanted to box everything, because like, at the start, you're gonna be good. There are two enemy Pokemon, they're in big trouble. He's a petrifier orb and can make multiple enemies and able to move. If you don't have it, go back to the path you came from. Okay, we don't need that. I mean, we can handle these two dogs pretty easily. Look, one is down, the other one uses Growl, but attack went down, but who cares? It's Dragon Rage. Bodied. And there's this thing over here. Bam. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Not even in trouble. Like, these dungeons at the start are really gonna be easy. But, yo, it's so much fun playing this game. Like, playing a mystery dungeon after so much time, it's actually a lot of fun. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Flame burst. Bam! Bodied. Get out of here. Forbodying Forest. Is, is that how you say the name? Forbodying or... F f f uh, for bod Forboding? I don't even know. I'm making up pronunciations! If you fail in your adventure, you'll end up losing your items and P. P. That's, that's like... How do you call the money on this game? I don't even know how you call the, the money. I was about to say pokens, but it's like... What pokens? That's like pokens. What the... <laughs> that make no sense. But I really do not know how you... Like, what's the name of the Pokemon money? I don't remember. I'll just call it money, whatever. Like, euros, dollars, whatever you want to call it. Pfft. Doesn't matter. That's money. Okay, Tiny Reviver Seed. We're getting a lot of those, that's actually pretty good. And, I mean, you can get bodied by a normal attack, maybe? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. He, th th this bird is doing a lot of damage, get out of here. Wait a second. What the freaking hell, let me actually heal up. Okay, let's eat Orange Berry. Yeah, we should be good with that. Damn. Wow, that recovers full HP? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. I wasn't expecting that bird to do a lot of damage. What the hell? I'm gonna explore just to see if we can get some items. And uh, maybe even level up, who knows? Okay, Dragon Rage. Oh wow, we had to miss, of course. Flame Burst. Okay, that's good enough. And... okay, nothing over here. I'm gonna try and speed up so we can, like, uh, explore this whole thing, like, faster. I usually explore like this, when it's just, like, exploring for items. Because it's like you don't need to, like, go slowly walking. Look, money! See? This is why I want to explore. Because there's still stuff you might miss. Okay, we pretty much went around the whole thing. 
So now I can go into the middle, and there's two items, okay. There's this and this. Bam. Okay, now we're good. We can leave this dungeon. I would assume so. I know there's a room over there probably that I missed, but it's all good. It's just one room. We got most of the items. And I can always do this off screen, like go into dungeons and level up and uh, grab some items and stuff, so should be good on that. And, uh, okay, a tail up. That bodied. And level up! Yeah! Level 6, not even bad. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1. Okay. We just got 2 on the special attack. That's kind of a low stat boost, but okay. It's Mystery Dungeon. I don't really know. Wait, 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 wait. This thing. Oh my god, are you serious? Can I hit the scratch? No, I missed the scratch. Of course I missed. Of course I missed! Come on. Am I really gonna mit? Gonna mit? Really? Gonna hit? Okay, scratch doesn't kill, but it's decent damage. Oh my goodness, I can't hit him. Nope. I'm gonna get all types of screwed up right now. Uh, can I freaking... No, this is for poison. Is there? Heals a burn. I don't have anything to heal. HP or confusion, are you serious? God damn it. Let's just hope. Nope, it didn't hit. Oh my goodness. Please break through confusion. Or hit him! Are you serious? Oh my god. This is not good. Oh, are you serious? Oh, he's a fairy type. I forgot fairy type is a thing on this game. Are you serious? I am so stupid. Wow, you guys must be like going nuts watching this. Okay, and I got body. There it is. <laughs> Oh, Tiny Reviver C, that's true, okay, we have those, okay, we good. Oh my goodness, that is so stupid. That is ridiculous. Okay, this thing is about to approach us, so let's do it. Flame Burst, body. Get me that. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous, like, freaking confusion. And we gotta eat something, cause the belly is getting too low. So let's eat an apple. Should be good with that. Yeah, that's pretty good, okay. It's crazy because on the old games, like, you usually didn't know how much hunger you had left. And that's pretty cool to know on this one. Let's see Bite. Okay, Bite is almost the same as Scratch. So it's like you need two of them, okay. You need to use two times at least. So... Pretty much the broken moves are uh, Flame Burst and the uh, Dragon Rage. The other two are kind of meh. I mean, they're stronger than the normal A, but it's something. I feel like I've come pretty far, but oh, that must be him. There it is. Uh, when did I come here? I'm so scared. Is this a big piece of paper that Pancham and Shalmet were talking about? I got. It's got writing on it. Foot writing? The letters are oddly squiggly and sorta of hard to read, but somehow I think I can read them. Gumi. That's what it looks like. I see, which definitely makes this kid the Gumi they were talking about. Gumi made it all the way here and even wrote his name like they told him. That took real courage. Yeah! Yo, he's really scared, like, damn, come on, calm down. Huh? You, you're here to help me? Oh, oh! I was so scared! Oh my god, he just starts crying, come on. Okay, we helped him out. See? What? Like, it wasn't that serious, come on. You- You actually made it back? And you brought back the paper too! You even wrote your name on it! Huh. What's up with this writing? It's so sloppy and all over the place. It's not sloppy! <laughs> You're funny! I bet you were too scared and shaking to even write properly. That's hilarious! Come on, let's go show this to everyone. 
See ya, suckers. Wow. Oh god, Pancham and uh, Shalmut need to learn a lesson. They really need to learn a lesson. Those two are... Oh my goodness. I've had it up to here with them. And you too, Gumi. I'm glad that you make it, uh, made it out okay, but what if there hadn't been anyone around to help? Sorry, dear Link. I wanted to show them that I had real guts too. Those two will just go goad you into doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you did give it everything you had, that's for sure. Dear Ling, you made it that far into the forest alone. And wrote your name just like they asked, even though you're writing a sloppy. Don't call it sloppy! And it's real thanks to you that Gumi got out of there in one piece today. In one piece. Ha! I see you, dear Ling. Really do owe you, so thank you. Um, mm, I never did... You never did tell us your name, right? And okay. And it's night time. And uh, Nuzleaf is gonna be mad. Because we left the house. There it is. What? 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 After I then told you not to leave the house, I told you to stay inside until I got home, did I not? You'd best learn your mind. Learn to mind your elders next time. But, well, it ain't like I can't understand the hitch to see the wider world out there. I reckon this must be all... This must all be new to you, after all. It's a fine thing to have a love of adventure in your heart. Grown-ups will always be saying you can't do this, that, or the other. But our tents in life will never learn except by experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventure and what have you. So, if you get a hankering to go adventuring around the village, you go right ahead. Nice. Okay, so he actually didn't get too mad about it. Like, he understood, so... Okay, we're cool. We cool. But from tomorrow morning, you'll be attending class at the local school. So you took in early tonight to be all ready for your first big day. Okay, so we're going to school. That's interesting. That is really something new. Like, I, I am... I never, I didn't know Pokemons would go to school, so that's something. Okay, this is a good time to end off the episode. I think what I'm gonna try to do is have, like, each episode end on these cuts, because this is, like, good times. Like, 27 minutes, that's pretty long, so that is good. I'm gonna end off this one here, so hope you guys have enjoyed. We rescued Gumi, and uh, we're gonna go to school, I guess, so let's find out what the heck is this school about and everything. So, for that... Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. So, yeah, until then, make sure to fire punch like button down below. If you have enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments down below what did you think of this whole mess with Pancham and freaking Shalma doing that to Gumi. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> but uh, it's been a lot of fun, this game. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So, until then, stay beast. See ya!